Hey guys, welcome to the video on Backyard Aquaponics. Kieran here from Fresh Farm Aquaponics. Uh, today I figured the best way to introduce you to Backyard Aquaponics would be to just show you about, show you our backyard system. Um, so as we walk over to the system in our backyard, uh, a few of the benefits of backyard systems, they're very easy to build. Um, there's really, you know, minimal maintenance for these systems, about five minutes a day. Um, you can easily feed your entire family. It's easier than gardening in the backyard. There's no weeding, there's no tilling. Uh, the soil, you don't have to bend over, get on your knees. And the best part is, is that you get to create a little oasis out here in the backyard. Uh, so here's Spencer, he's gonna show us a little bit more about this backyard system. Uh, hey guys, I'm Spencer. And here I wanna show you my uh, home garden, my backyard aquaponics. So here we have our fish tank. It's about 225 gallons. And uh, we have our giant goldfish down there. I don't know how well you guys can see it. That's goldy. And then we also have two locally caught catfish in there. So you can really use just about any fish. We like to use both uh, bottom feeders like catfish plus regular fish like a goldfish. Um, we see that it makes the system run a bit better. So let me show you what we're growing here. In this bed, we actually have a green tea plant. So uh, any day now, it's gonna start shooting up. Oh yeah, here's a little couple young leaves right here. So in a few weeks, we'll be able to use those and uh, have fresh tea. Uh, then we've got tons of lettuces coming up. So you can see all our lettuces coming through. So we're gonna have some nice fresh salads and then some awesome oregano. Can you believe this? We have some other bushes of oregano over here. It's like a little forest. And then we also have a secret pea hiding in here. So we're going to have to get a trellis for this guy. So uh, a trellis like will help it crawl out over some empty space so that it won't take up any other plant space. Moving down a bed. And we have six beds total. So you've seen three so far. Here we have our sage. So this is delicious sage. We actually just clipped off a lot of sage flowers, so the, we didn't want it to go to seed. We wanted to continue to produce uh, leaves like this. Mm, it's incredible. Over here, you can see this is our chocolate mint. So this is a special variety of mint that actually has chocolate undertones. It's absolutely incredible. And the best part is it you can't stop it from growing. So once it gets started, you're going to have mint more, more than you know what to do with which uh, is one of those good problems. Uh, here we have more lettuces, more mint. And then this is uh, this purple guy here is a mustard. And um, here it's actually starting to put up flowers. And our hope is uh, now that it's hot out, our mustard is gonna start putting out seeds so we can get mustard seed and create fresh mustard right from our garden. So that's a pet project here. Over here we have a lavender plant, which is just sending up some fresh leaves here. Um, actually all over the place, now that I look at it. So we uh, picked this lavender plant like totally dry over the winter uh, for tea and to help run our small CSA. Um, and we also picked our rosemary here, just about to oblivion, but due to the uh, abundant nutrients in the aquaponics here, it's still sprung back and it's well on its way to getting strong once again. Uh, you can also see our awesome strawberry plant really coming along here. These flowers smell incredible, and there's tons of them too. So we're going to be getting tons of strawberries this year. And um, let's see what else. we got some parsley that we transplanted in here, so that's coming along. And uh, yeah, that about does it. So that's all we have planted now, and this is just the remnants of our winter planting. And that's right, we planted in the winter in Connecticut. So... That's sort of just one of the powers of aquaponics that we've found. And uh, we're getting excited. Over the summer, we're going to be growing hot peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, a whole bunch of other fruiting plants. So, um, hope to see you back and be fresh.